He couldn't even find a place. He couldn't even find a place. When I was first diagnosed with MND, um, I asked to see a speech therapist because I knew that um, it might possibly affect my speech further down the line. Um, so Claire Spong came to see me, the speech therapist that Farley used, and um, she talked to me about voice banking and the fact that actually voice banking now, especially with model talker, would be able to use my own voice instead of an electronic voice and that appealed to me. The voice banking on the web model talker website, it's free until the point where you want to actually process your voice. Um, and the cost of that I had met by the Motor Neuron Disease Association. Um, thereafter, to be able to use the voice, you have to have an app called Predictable. Well, that's the one that I use. Uh, and that does cost money as well. But again, it was funded by the Motor Neuron Disease Association. And then of course there was the studio cost, but I found that very, um, a worthwhile spend. And also that was covered by the Motor Neuron Disease Association as well. It's an initial session, uh, which is 10 sample sentences and model talk, use that to make sure that your voice is um, compatible and usable. So, um, and that didn't take very long to do at all. So as soon as they come back and say, yes, that's usable, that's when you can start with your 1200 sentences. Um, for me, that took probably about 12 hours. So we did four sessions of three hours each. I was first diagnosed with motor neuron disease. I was straight away put in touch with Bali Hospice. Um, a really, really difficult first visit to the hospice. Hospice being where people go to die. But actually, um, the first thing they said to me, it's um, where people go to live their lives as best they can. So um, going to Folly, I've had so much support. They've got counselling services, they've got the Lantern Suite, where you go and you have like one day sessions on nutrition or how to cope with symptoms. Um, you get to see people that have also got life limiting illnesses, particularly cancer, um, but other issues and other things that they need care for. And above all things, that's what finally do they care and they help you every step of the way on all kinds of things, financial things, guidance, um, grants that I thought I could never get. Um, and I go there regularly every week to the gym to do a little bit of physio. And so I have access to a neurophysiotherapist. I've had counselling um, and everybody there is just so friendly and personable. Uh, and I'm, I really appreciate all their help. And I would never have done voice banking if it wasn't for family. They put me in touch with a speech, a speech therapist. And it's just having to cope with an illness like this. It's just, they've just been a rock. My name's Michael Parker, and I'm the recording engineer at uh, Studio Six Music in Whittam. My friend Jane, uh, approached me and said that she didn't have the, the equipment to do the voice banking at home and would I be uh, okay to, to help her through it. So um, yeah, we did it here. I mean, it's basically a list of sentences um, that this company, Model Talk, uh, will take and synthesize uh, your voice into a downloadable uh, voice file that can be used on mobile devices and computers. Uh, to replace your voice if you get to the stage where you can't can no longer speak you know a lot of people can do it at home um, but some people who don't have the equipment um, have chosen to come here to do it and 
which is good in in some ways you know you can have two people you kind of form an alliance to go through it so uh, you know it's quite an extensive um, process it's um, 1200 1600 sentences which uh, has usually taken about or the, the times I've done it it's taken about 12 hours in, in total so we break that up into a number of sessions I never want there to be a time when I don't have a voice um, I love to sing <laughs> but of course voice banking can't do that for me but I wanted to be able to record my own voice saying whatever things I would normally say in the way I say it um, and the voice banking will enable me to carry on doing that um, if I speak in my accent I want it to be in my accent if I um, tell somebody I love them I want them to hear it in my voice and not an electronic voice um, and it goes a long way it's not perfect but it goes a long way to letting people know that I'm still there <laughs> with my own voice.